Right. David, a pleasure to chat to you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. you. Um, now, where we are just now is right across the road from the RSAMD, the Royal yes. Conservatoire, of course, where you studied. What memories have you got of your time there? I had a fantastic time there. Yeah, as you say, it was the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama now. Now it's the Royal Conservatoire. Oh. It's a bit posh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed back. Uh, I, no, I had a great time. I was only 17 when I went, so I was very green. I was a very green 17-year-old as well. Uh, but it was, uh, it was a very, it was a hugely uh, important three years of my life. Um, and one of the things we used to do regularly is from there, just go up the road to the Glasgow Film Theatre and see all manner of things. I remember seeing Reservoir Dogs for the first time and oh, everything, David Lynch movies, and because uh, you get you, with your student cards, you got in cheap, which apparently they still do. Um, so I, I'm delighted to be up here opening a film at the Glasgow Film yeah. Theatre. It feels like it's sort of full circle. Well, your movie Mad to Be Normal is closing the Glasgow Film Festival right. 2017. How does that feel to be bringing the curtain? Like you said, obviously it's something that's quite close to you. It is, yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't think of anywhere I'd be more delighted to be premiering the film than, than right here in Glasgow. And it's about a very famous Glaswegian. You know, it's about uh, 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 R.D. Lang, who's, who... who um, you know, growled with a Scottish accent right up to his death. So uh, he, he feels very much uh, a part of this city. And, and uh, yeah, but from a, from a personal point of view, it's, I'm delighted. I couldn't be more chuffed. And Lang was known as a pioneering Scottish psychiatrist. Mm. What was it like to play that role? Did, you, did it take a lot to get into the... Oh, it was fascinating. Film? I mean, he is a fascinating man. He's quite hard to pin down. He's clearly a man full of contradictions. Um, and... Uh, and from an acting point of view, that's what you want. You know, you want someone who's who's a patchwork of different things, and you try and make a human being out of all that. Um, obviously, you have a responsibility to the fact that he's a. You know, he he died relatively recently. He's still within living memory. He still has family alive, and 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 you you want to be loyal to the memory of who he was, and you want to be loyal to the the contradictions of that. Uh, and and uh, but you know that he his. His story is is his his legacy is is um, still hotly debated. So you know, it's it's sort of up to the audience to decide what sort of man this was. And, and uh, you know, he could be hugely compassionate. He could be a bit of a bully. He could be uh, um, brilliant and pioneering. He could be stubborn and and difficult. And uh, you know whether the Kingsley Hall experiment, which is sort of specifically, I guess, what the film is about at this time when he when he formed a, like a commune really in the East End of London, and, and patients and and uh, medical staff lived together with no medication, no rules. People are allowed to do whatever they like, uh, and, and and so you get this kind of extraordinary time, very sixties, very sort of of, of the moment. Uh, there were no drugs apart from perhaps from the occasional hallucinogenic that was introduced, but for medical reasons, you know, and, and uh, you get this extraordinary kind of bananas time where, where uh, people, some very disturbed individuals um, were living uh, with, 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 with doctors, with nurses, with, with help if they required it, but also being allowed to express whatever their particular psychosis was telling them to express so you had people you know covering walls of their rooms in their own feces um you also had people um thinking they were napoleon i mean you had the whole range so it, it it's it makes for a, a, a fascinating uh, it's a fascinating subject for a film it, it can be very bleak it can also be very funny because people were bonkers you yeah. know and and that's something that i think Lang himself rather enjoyed the kind of madness of it, the, the craziness of it. So there's light and shade with it. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's out in cinemas, it gets a full release at the end of March, I believe. Really well, in Scotland it does, right, yes. Okay. In Glasgow you get some rather cheeky little previews, so uh, Glasgow's <laughs> the place to see the film, probably. Is and it? maybe Edinburgh as well, does Edinburgh get some cheeky little... No, just Glasgow. Just Glasgow, Just right, Glasgow. Okay. Well, uh, some and then folk it's... will be asking for your student card to get into the GFT then for I the, know, the discount should... prices. That's how you should do it, definitely. <laughs> And of course he's got that wee show called Broadchurch starting tonight yeah. on STV and he's going to tell us all about that later on in the show. I don't know if I'm talking to you yet.